Have you ever grabbed a late night snack and went straight to bed? Well, you might want to think twice about that. Eating before bed can seriously mess with your teeth. And if you brush right after, it can even make it worse. Why is that the case? Well, when you eat, your mouth becomes more acidic. That's normal. That happens every time you eat, pretty much. But if you do this at night, there's two problems. Number one is you have less saliva. And number two is you're probably going to brush your teeth right after. Now, that's assuming you brush your teeth in general, which I'm hoping you do. So let's go over the number one problem of eating right before you go to bed you have less saliva at nighttime, specifically when you're sleeping. Now, saliva is like a built-in natural defense system for your teeth. It has a lot of antibacterial properties. It can buffer out a lot of the acids. It can also wash away a lot of the food and different plaque and particles on your teeth. And it helps remineralize our teeth. So saliva is really good for your teeth. And you can see why if you don't have enough saliva, like people who have a dry mouth, why they would be much more prone to getting cavities and gum disease. So you can start to see the problem if you eat right before you go to bed, right? Because when you eat, your mouth gets more acidic. And on top of that, you have all these starches and sugars in your mouth that are feeding the bacteria in your mouth. These bacteria will also release acid, specifically lactic acid, which will sit in your teeth and cause cavities to form. Your enamel will break down at a pH of 5.5, and your dentin, which lies underneath your enamel, or the inner layer of your tooth, will break down at a pH of 6.5. So although your enamel is very strong, it's still not perfect and it can still break down from acids. And this is why eating right before you go to bed is such a bad habit because you're combining this low saliva with all these bacteria that are causing a field day of these acids in your mouth. This is also why you might have heard mouth breathing could be so bad for you. Well, one of the reasons why mouth breathing is so bad for you. People who breathe in and out of their mouth tend to have a much drier mouth. They're drying up all that saliva in your mouth. And that means they have much less of the saliva to fight all these bacteria that are trying to damage their teeth. And we see the same thing with people when they get older and they start taking a lot more medications. A lot of medications, their side effect is xerostomia or dry mouth. And again, when they start taking these medications, people start to notice that they start getting a lot more cavities and other mouth problems. Now, in terms of the mouth breathing and what other problems that can cause, I did make a lot of other videos on it. So I'm putting a couple links in the description below if you wanna check out some more information on that. But the key takeaway here is when you have less saliva, you're gonna have longer exposure to these acids in your mouth. And when you have a dry mouth and you have more of these bacteria and sugars in your mouth, it's gonna be like a bacteria party. They're gonna eat more of these sugars, they're gonna poop out even more acids, so you're gonna have a much higher risk of getting things like bad breath, cavities and gum disease. Now you might think, well, what's the big deal? Because I can just brush my teeth and clean them that way, right? Well, that actually brings us to number two, which is brushing right before you go to bed. The issue here isn't that you're brushing your teeth. The issue is the timing. You're brushing right after eating. Right after you eat, your enamel is weakened because you're eating these acidic foods and you have these bacteria that are releasing more acids in your mouth. So your enamel is in a weakened position. Now, if you combine this with an abrasive toothbrush and abrasive toothpaste, that's basically scrubbing away your teeth, you can potentially scrub away your enamel. Now, if you do this one time every now and then, no big deal, because your enamel is still very strong. But it's not perfect, like I said. So if you keep doing this every single night, this can be a really bad habit. You can cause a lot of erosion or lead to a lot more cavities. Instead, wait at least 30 minutes before you brush your teeth. This will at least give your saliva time to build up and start washing away those plaque and food particles and buffer out those acids so that your enamel is not so weak. So what can you start to do instead? Well, obviously, try to avoid this late night snacking and especially avoid those starchy, sugary, acidic foods right before you go to bed. The second thing you can do is at least try to move that timing a little bit earlier. So if you have it right before you go to sleep, maybe try moving it 30 minutes to an hour earlier. The longer the better because now you're going to give your saliva more time to build up and wash away and clean everything. A couple other tips that might help is one, drinking water with your meal. Now if you don't drink water, if you drink like a soda, obviously it's just going to add to this whole list of other negative benefits. But if you drink some water and you can swish around with some water at least after you're done, you can try to help neutralize those acids. Another thing you can do is chew gum. Specifically, you want a sugar-free gum, 
And if you can, pick one with xylitol. Xylitol is a sugar substitute, but it's the only sugar substitute that actively prevents cavities. That's what's cool about xylitol, because that Streptococcus mutans bacteria that normally eats sugar and releases acid that causes cavities, instead, when it eats xylitol, it actually dies. So xylitol kills the bacteria that causes cavities in your mouth. And the other benefit with the xylitol gum is it'll promote more saliva. Anytime you chew anything, your saliva gets stimulated. So you're gonna get two benefits in one. You're gonna get more saliva in general, which can kind of speed up this process of buffering out these acids. And you're gonna get the benefit from the xylitol in the first place that kills these bad bacteria. And if you can, try to stick with at least mouth healthy foods. So things like apples, celery, or pears, or spinach. Things that are either leafy greens or crunchy, because these crunchy and watery foods are gonna be able to act as a natural toothbrush. They're gonna scrub and keep your teeth clean, and they're gonna be way better than eating something like goldfish, which will stick around and feed these bad bacteria and cause a whole list of other problems. Again, if you snack once in a while right before you go to bed, it's no big deal, but do not make this a habit every single day. Now, if this sounds like you, if you eat right before you go to bed or if you brush right after eating, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below and I will see you in the next video. Have you ever lied to your dentist about flossing? Well, they probably know. How do they know? Well, they could be taking a guess and they'll probably be right since only about 30% of people actually floss their teeth. But there's actually more to it than that. Dentists can pretty much instantly tell if you floss no matter what you say. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the dead